Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where for some reason your iPhone applications are just not loading. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons, but the very first thing I'd recommend looking at is taking a look at the application that's not loading. So for some reason you're opening up all your applications and they're crashing or they're just like, you know, crashing on commit or they're just crashing on command or they're just not loading at all. Well, in that case, you may have to go ahead and actually reboot your phone or update your phone. So you want to hold down the buttons, the volume up button and the power button slides the power off and then you want to power back on your iPhone and you want to see if that fixed it. If that didn't fix it, you may want to go ahead and open up your specific settings application. You want to go under general, you want to click software update and you just want to go ahead and update your specific iPhone as well. Now in this specific case, if you are in a situation where your device is just, you know, randomly crashing applications that are just not loading, updating your iPhone is probably the best thing you can do in this case and this is something I would probably recommend every single person to do at some point. Now, if that doesn't work either, another thing I'd recommend doing is to check out which application is not loading. So if it's like Facebook is not loading, but for some reason all the other apps are, well, in that case, Facebook, that application or whatever app may actually be down. So what you have to do in this case is pretty much just wait it out until they actually fix the application on their end. You can also make your way over to their app store. So you can go open the app store just like this. You can go and search up whatever application it was. You know, let's just say it was like Snapchat or whatever. You want to open it up and you want to see if there's an update available. So you can see right here, there is an update panel. So I can go ahead and click update. And at this point, that's pretty much all I will have to do. Just go ahead and update that specific application. It may crash, it may still cause problems, but this is another thing you can do to verify whether the problem is you or whether it's your iPhone or whether it's you know the application itself. Now, for some reason, Snapchat or whatever application is still not loading, what I'd recommend doing is deleting that application and reinstalling it. So in this case, just hold down whatever application it was, remove app, delete that application from your phone, reinstall it, and see if that actually ended up fixing it too. If that fixed it, then you're set. If it still doesn't fix it, well then the problem may actually end up being the application itself, and you may just have overlooked something or whatever the case is. So in this case, what you're going to have to do is pretty much just wait it out. You can also try deleting the apps again, reinstalling them, updating your iPhone again, power on, powering on and off your iPhone too, see if that fixed it, but ultimately you just have to wait it out for those apps to fix themselves. So that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.